It's very early in the morning, but it is time to find out what the next project is here on TCR. But first, let's jump in the golf, listen for a cold start, and go and meet Alex to grab the trailer to pick up this next journey. Well, you can tell Christmas is here because it's actually hailstoning. Standard procedure, we're at Mackey's, we're going to get something to eat before we carry on down the M1 as if we're going down. M1 and then A1. So we're going to go get, get something to eat now and um, apologies for not videoing much but you know sometimes you've got to enjoy life rather than just holding Tired, the Tired mate. Hands. I was up at half four yesterday for Alex Hart, didn't get in until nine o'clock. <sighs> up at half seven, he's late again. Bored mate, bored. Anyway let's get some food. Right, so if you haven't actually guessed it, this Mini that we've got on the back, I bought it off Josh Smith and he's a young lad still doing videos, so we'll throw his channel in the description so you can go and check it. What I paid for the car was a very good price, but me and Josh managed to strike a deal because I gave him some wheels and got them re powder coated off my old Mini. However, there's a lot of work cut out for this Clubman estate and there's so many ideas running through my head. He's screaming VTEC. VTEC gang. But all I can say is, I reckon to restore that car to the standard of my red mini, you're probably talking £12,000 and probably more because it's a Clubman and the bits are more expensive. If I add a VTEC engine in and the conversion kit, you're talking that's a 25 grand car if I do everything myself and I just haven't got the money to do that. So we'll definitely look into what we're going to do with it. But now we've got a 100 mile drive home, so it's going to get dropped into dry storage at another house and then we're going to swap my red mini with this one very soon. But for now, we'll roll the shots and if it stops raining, you might even see some drone shots. Do you reckon it's going to stop raining or now? Or am I just jinxed? No, what are you buying for me dinner? Yeah, I forgot about that. Dinner's on me. But I tell you what, mate, you're not having your outside lights done if it carries on like this. You have to tell your missus. Hey, he's, my, he's miss, whipped. my missus he's got whipped. the whip on him, no, mate. She no. got the whip on him. She went, I need some outside lights. And he went, yes, miss. Right. He said, I'll do it for you. I started him last weekend, but favour for a favour being mates. I'm doing his outside lights. He's trailering me a car home. That's just the way it works. But I have got to buy him dinner. So we've had Mackey's for breakfast, mate, but what do you want now? Waitrose. Waitrose? Mate, I'm not made of money. Waitrose. Waitrose, isn't it? Listen, if I was 10p behind him, I'd be very well off. So. Hey, if I was 50p behind oh, him. Oh, here we go, this one. Anyway, we'll shut up uh, waffling. Let's hope it stops raining and we'll whip the drone out and get some beautiful shots. Be seeing you. He 
It was at this moment I'd realised the GoPro had been running for the past 50 minutes. Anyway, you'll recall last time we picked a mini up, we grabbed a coffee in a very stylish TCR way. So, now it's time for round two. Starbucks part two, mate. Cappuccino, you're ordering. I'm paying. So I'm sure it's paid for the Starbucks drive through Oh, right. Um, last time we did the drive through Whoa! Slow down! The seats aren't bolted in. I'm going like that. Uh, so we're going to the drive through We're going to christen this car. But wait to christen... Way to christen a clubman estate. Mate! What? The seats aren't bolted, they nearly went in the back then. Whoa! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> she's pissing herself. Is she oh, laughing? Mate, she's laughing right off. <laughs> My car broke down, so I'm sat in trailer. Uh, <laughs> basically, could I have a large cappuccino, please? And I'll have a large latte as well, please. Yeah. Um, <laughs> none in the latte. That's it, thank you. I'll see. Oh, I'll have to pull, be pulled round, basically. <laughs> 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 I'm, I think he's got the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm winding you up. I'm winding you up. Might not be able to reach. Something that you'll remember, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 ye
So apart from that, if you want to come close, so we'll have a look at what's actually going on in this car. The floor has been patched. It's not even floor panels. It's just if you want to have a look, so it's like so the camera girl today. It's been patched with really thick plate, pigeon shit welds across there. It does need a full floor in my opinion. The inner sills have been made out of bits of shit of metal, which you can't really see, but we'll show you in a bit of a time lapse in a second. The outer sills have been made into over sills underneath that are not even got the, the ridges in. Someone's just plated them up. Can you see under there? All here, rubbish and knackered. The car is in a sorry state. But what we'll do is we'll move to the back now and I'll show you the worst bit that I think is going to be the most difficult to get this car right. So at the back of the car, the reason I love these Clubman's Estates is because the rear barn doors, they just look so retro in my opinion and you can make them look really cool and low when they sit on the floor. However, you will notice if you want to bring the camera in a bit, the gap we've got at the top here is by far skinnier than the gap we've got at the bottom here. Now that is down to this vital element. If we open the doors and you want to come close, right down here where my hand is, it's completely rotten. So when I move the door, the whole panel flexes. So this means that this panel flex and the doors are out of sync. So we're going to have to rearrange that. All the door steps got to come off. However, you will know the boot floor isn't at all bad. We've got a little hole here, which can be sorted out. But the inner arches and all this is absolutely spot on. The rear loom looks in good condition, so we'll probably try and salvage that. However, the interior is scruffy, the headline is hanging down. That will all be coming out. So this is where I think the worst bit is. The petrol tank leaks, which is a problem, and they're expensive, and the rear subframe is knackered, so we're going to have to change that. But we'll have a look at the engine, you can see what sorry state that's in as well. As you can see, it is absolutely shocking. It's a mess. And I think mainly what's making it look really bad is the wiring loom. Oh no, under there is very rotten. The engine does turn over, which we'll be glad to hear. So if you stay in there a second, laugh if it starts now. Got a bit of a flat battery scenario at the minute because we have been trying to get it going. Again, it does run and I will make sure we get that covered in the next episode. Do you want to come in? So this is what we're dealing with. It is a mess. Rotten here, which I'm not too happy about. I think that's going to be a pain to fix. And when we start digging into it, we're going to find more things. It looks like it's had a new clutch slave cylinder hose down here. So at some point it has been being driven properly. However, it is in a sorry, awful state. You'll find this massive hole here. The front slam panel, front panel is all ruined. It needs a full new front end. There's too many holes in it, in my opinion. So it will be getting a new front end. The bonnet doesn't look in too much of a bad condition. It just looks like surface rust and hopefully we can salvage that. However, my main concern is that there. I reckon that's gonna be a bit of a hard repair. The front subframe looks okay. The rear subframe is shagged, in my opinion. It's absolutely knackered. The best thing I noticed with this car is these wheels and tires. The tires are brand new and the wheels have been freshly powder coated. That one, is a bit shit the other ones are pretty good but it is a mess the doors don't line up nothing so we have got our work cut out here's another hole they always seem to go here because that's a water trap and on my last one that was filled with expanding foam so hopefully it's not going to be as bad the roof in my opinion is perfect the aerial we're getting rid of and blanking off because it's a water trap and that's disappearing play over there you can see those holes in the floor again the other side does seem to be a lot worse than this side but I'm not going to mess around, it'll probably just end up having a full new floor. Pedal box, ruined, needs all new pedals sorting out, but again we'll get it powder coated and try and salvage what we can. The only thing that seems to be new on this car is the bloody key barrel, so we'll probably try and keep hold of the key barrel, obviously, for obvious reasons. Two keys, clocks, the clocks are currently reading the wrong mileage. I've done a bit of research on this car, and the current mileage of the vehicle is actually around 25,000 miles from new. But for some reason, these clocks are not the correct clocks that are in the car. I've got a feeling a lot of parts have been swapped on this because if you look at the steering wheel, it isn't a Clubman Estate steering wheel. Anyone can tell that. But the inside of the roof, in my opinion, looks pretty damn good. We're back in the TCR room. And the reason we're in the TCR room is because it's about time that I explained how YouTube bought me this car. It is a play on words. However, it is true because if I hadn't started doing YouTube, I would not have been able to buy that car. Not long back, we set up a GoFundMe page that managed to raise over £360. And I want to thank you lovely guys to every single one of you that donated. On top of that, we started selling some stickers. 
and I made a little bit of money out of them, hardly any profit, so a bit of money of that has gone towards this build. But the main form of income, now a lot of you have been saying you must make a fortune from all these videos. That isn't true. What has actually happened is, in the two years that I have been uploading from these videos, my advertising revenue on the channel, which I'm very open to share with all of you, was £330 for two years. And I actually worked it out, in the hours that it takes me to edit these videos, it's about three pence an hour. So the funds from the GoFundMe, the funds from the advertising and the profit from the stickers has allowed me to buy that car. Now you may be asking, how much has the car cost me? Well, I'll be glad to tell you, the guy I bought it off was Josh Smith. We managed to do a deal and I paid £1,100 for this classic Mini. I wanted to get it for less than a thousand pound, but we couldn't do it. Me and Josh worked a deal out. He got my old wheels and I've said I'll, I'll edit a video for him as well. So that is how YouTube bought me this car. It is a bit of a play on words. It might be a bit clickbaity, but if it is, I really apologize. But I just obviously need to boost this channel up if we're gonna continue doing these vehicles. The one thing I do wanna say before we end on this, because obviously it's Christmas in two days and I want you all to have an amazing one. I've been getting a lot of stick lately for promotional and promo stuff in my videos. What the guys that are giving me hate need to understand is this channel was never intended for me to be doing videos. I simply wanted to restore a mini, put the videos online so I would never lose the data and it would always be there and I can look back on. However, you guys wanted to see more. And in return for that, I simply don't have the cash just to keep doing cars because I need to prioritize moving out of my mum and dad's house and getting a place with the girlfriend. But the issue is, in return for this, I may have to drop a few adverts in. I may have to do a bit of promotional stuff with companies just to keep this channel going. So the guys that are not liking that, all I'm gonna to say to you is, if you don't like what I'm doing, just go and watch somewhere else because I haven't got any time for the people that are just messaging me and dropping comments of hate, giving me a hard time. I'm doing this for the people for the people that want to see it, which is the majority of you. However, there's been a two, two people recently and I'm not gonna give them the gratitude of ever naming them because then they've made it into the video and they don't deserve it. But that is why there is promotional stuff done. So that is how that is gonna go with the channel. The podcasts are gonna start after Christmas. The Mini is here. What I do want to know is what you guys want me to do with that club room. Moving on, we're going to switch the camera around. I'm going to introduce someone into the video that you don't see a lot of and I get a lot of hard time for because I spend too much time in the garage and not enough time with this person. This is Sophie, my girlfriend. Hi guys. She... Weekend's here again. Right, shut up you. <laughs> the reason I'm introducing you to Sophie is because she's gets, she gives me a hard time for the amount of stuff that I spend doing my videos. However, she's very supportive in doing it and I need to make more time in seeing Sophie doing this stuff. She's gonna be involved in helping me with the mini. Oh, God help me, guys. So we're gonna try and get involved a little bit with it. So basically it's just an excuse for me to be able to do more of my own stuff. Thank and then you. she can't say that you never spend any time with me. <laughs> what are you doing late tonight? I said, can we watch something? I'm gonna edit while you're watching it. So. She, she wants to watch Elf because it's Christmas, but I'm gonna sit there with my headphones on tapping away editing this video which you're currently seeing have we covered everything that i said that i wanted to cover yeah you've said youtube bought me this car yeah tom genuinely cares about what he does and he's met some amazing people made some amazing friends through this and without all of your support he wouldn't have done half of the things that you would have done would you tom no to mate. be completely honest i've not paid her to say that by the way have she's I? not no i'm just a very she kind does of get girl. annoyed with me doing i all do this get stuff. annoyed i do get annoyed at him but then i look at what he's achieved and i'm so proud of him but yeah it's just about getting the balance just don't win it mate punching <gasps> punching punching he's 100 punching no, i bought him whoa. a cad shark shifter uh, yeah but that was you know that was circumstantial. Put you to Rome. Yeah, right, that's just not, not. <laughs> So the next video you will see is the strip out video of this mini, which I can't wait to get my teeth stuck into. And we're gonna do everything we can on this car. I'm gonna learn to weld, I've got a welder, and it is literally just a case of get it wrong, do it again, get it wrong, do it again. But other than that, I think we just need to wish everyone a good Christmas and yes. New Year, don't we? Merry Christmas, have a lovely time with your friends and family. Yeah. And we'll see you in the New Year. And we're very close to 5,000 subscribers, I may say, but it's not 5,000 subscribers. It's 5,000 people that all share the same interest as me. So I hope to keep you interested. Apologies for the rant. Other than that, please, please enjoy Christmas. Stay safe if the weather's gonna be bad and I hope to keep you interested with this next build. I am very sorry it isn't a car that's different. I did buy a camper van with a bay window. There is a story behind that, but it will all be explained in the next episode. Don't forget to drop a comment in what you wanna see with the car, what's gonna happen, give me your suggestions, and I will pick someone at random 
to get some stickers posted out to you. But other than that, have a safe Christmas, have a nice new year, and I'll see you very, very soon. Be seeing you. Be seeing you.